Hello, everybody. Mike from Star Structure Telescopes. We're now offering mirror cells to our individual component page, and this video is going to walk you through the basics. These mirror cells are available for ATMs, and of course, dealer inquiries are welcome. I'd like to start this video by mentioning that we are not a full-blown machine shop, but a hands-on fabrication shop with some machining capabilities. I mention this because parts like our crossbars and triangles, the part itself, the outside, is cut by hand on a variety of different machines. However, the bearing retainer holes, the cell point holes, and the crossbar holes are all done on the mill to ensure accuracy. Parts like the center ring, which holds the triangles in their proper position, this is also done on the mill to ensure accuracy. Our cell frames, uh, when it comes to our cell frames, uh, we are set up very well uh, for our welding capabilities. We have a very precision welding table and good welding equipment. Uh, again, the frames are jig welded on this table and then the holes for the collimation bolts, uh, crossbar mounts, and the edge mounting, those are all done on the mill to ensure accuracy. The mirror cell shown here is specific to your truss tube Dobsonian type telescope. However, we do manufacture cells for a variety of different telescopes. This is a equatorial mounted truss tube scope that we're working on. This had a center hole in the primary and it has a center mounting system supported by 18 point cells. So just to point out that we can make cells for almost any type of telescope to within our capabilities, of course. The cell has two basic components, the cell inner cell frame itself, which is gonna support the triangles, crossbars, edge support, and your primary mirror, and an outer frame, with this is the part that will actually mount inside your telescope. For smaller cells up to about 26 inches of primary mirror diameter, we use three quarter by inch and a half by 16 gauge tubing. And then once we go up to 28 and above, we'll jump to one inch by two inch by 16 gauge material. Cells typically will be nine point cell up to about 12 and a half inches. At 14 and a half, we'll go to 18 points. That's kind of the borderline between nine and 18. And then we'll carry 18 all the way up through 30 inches. And then at 32 inches, we go to a 27 point cell. Our triangles are manufactured from 3 8 plate aluminum along with the crossbars and the edge supports. Once we get into the larger scopes, we'll jump the edge supports up to half inch. The cell is equipped with only two collimation bolts at the top edge of the cell. This is so as you bring your tube down in altitude, you'll be able to reach them bolts right at about 60 degrees very easily. The third point, or where let's say the third collimation bolt would be, is static, so it does not move. This will dictate a fixed height of the mirror cell. The gap between the outer frame and the inner frame is usually about three quarter inches. However, if you want super low profile, this can be lowered to about a quarter of an inch. I have flipped the cell and cell frame over to get more specific to the mounting frame. The one shown here is just a very basic mounting frame. Uh, we could call this the standard. Uh, what's important is we need a bar here and a bar here to hit our static point and to hit where our collimation bolts would be. As far as the part that it will actually screw into your telescope, we could have this, which is a channel that's welded to the top and bottom bars. This will have a series of holes in it. We can either set that up for through bolt or we can set that up for screws that just go from the inside out. So not to have any hardware on the outside of your mirror box. It can be done in any configuration. Uh, to any size. This is something that will be custom made to everybody's individual needs. Giving us dimensions, a quick drawing or anything like that is uh, the best way to do it. 
Um, if you're starting from scratch and have not yet built your mirror box, give us a call and we can guide you in the sizes that you should make the interior of your mirror box. We also offer optional rear baffle plates. Uh, basically, that is like this one shown here, the black area here. This will close off any of the openings here and here and in the top of the rear of your mirror box. And then the center hole is cut approximately an inch smaller than your primary mirror. This will stop any uh, light from entering the rear of your telescope. All our mirror cells will come with radial bearings on both the crossbars and the triangle pivots for a full flotation cell. We also include our crossbar modification as shown on our options page as standard now. Uh, as you can see here, the center of the crossbar is raised to the same height as the triangle pivot. The whole point of this is, is so that the triangle is independent basically from any crossbar movement. So as the scope goes from horizon to zenith, uh, when you have a crossbar that's just flat where the pivot point is low, if the crossbar shifts or the triangle shift, they'll actually move on the mirror cell. In this case, as the crossbar pivots back and forth, you would see it if the mirror was uh, on it that I could move this crossbar independently of any movement from the triangle. So that will come standard on all of our mirror cells. Also, any... Um, movement points such as collimation bolts might be hard to see there but those are all riding on bronze bushings so things like the rollers and the edge mount themselves are all on uh, bushings this concludes our mirror cell video as always if you have any additional questions please feel free to email or call have a wonderful day